White Kitty, you look so scary. I'm out here making my final rounds tonight and I noticed that Voodoo's acting like he doesn't feel well. It doesn't look like it from this perspective, but he stood at this section of fence basically for the last 24 hours. I watched him go get water. I watched him make his way to, to eat what I brought out for him, but he didn't graze. And that gives me an indication that something's not right. I know, baby. Oh my goodness, now everyone's coming up. I can see it in his eyes. Rita sees it, Dinky sees it. And I'm just not sure what it is. I checked his temperature, his temperature is 99.6, which is perfectly in range. He's a little clammy, like a, has a little sweat. Now it did get hotter today than it has been in some time. Beverly's like, it got really hot, mom. We aren't used to hot anymore storms just gonna watch for predators over here on the side um but I, I just don't know I gave him a um an anti-inflammatory which is like Advil to us uh at about six o'clock after he had some you know food in his stomach Rita seriously and then the other thing I did as soon as, as soon as I walked out here I actually let him out to walk around so I could just watch I don't think it's colic. I can hear his tummy moving. Um, and he definitely has no signs of diarrhea. And there is a lot of poop, but I haven't seen him poop. Um, but he's upright. So that's another weird thing. But he walked around for a good 15, 20 minutes and just grazed his face off. And I thought, mm, that's probably not great if he's got, if he's got colic. I really need him to walk. And all I can think of is maybe his feet are sore. Uh, we're due for a trim on Tuesday, so it's a, it's midnight, and it's a little too late at night for me to be out here picking feet, and it should be about the time where they would lay down anyway. Um, our horses take turns laying down. It just was really strange that Voodoo was out in this, just up against the fence, nonstop, and I don't know, I, I don't know why. So I'm paying close attention, uh, and just thought I would share that Something's, something's off. So, more to come. I made sure that he drank, and he did, and he, he walked, and whenever I let him back in, he walked over not only to drink, but to the protein lick. So, that's a good thing. Um, I'm just not sure, really. And all I was thinking of was, besides his feet, was maybe he wants to go eat alone. And maybe it was a hot enough day where he was like, hey, I could really use my fan. No, you don't want to eat alone. You like to have Bucky's with you? Maybe maybe that's what we need. But um, there's alpacas in your stall now, so you would have to share. And you can't kick them out. We'll make it work. Okay? We'll make things work. We'll get you a fan out here. There is a fan in the barn that's on. There is. I, I saw y'all standing it the other day. I turned it on myself. But kind of a weird, a weird thing. Never seen him do that before. And all I can think about is the lingering by the fences that he would like to come out. And I don't know why. You want to come out? He's like, hey, listen, whenever I come out, you trim my feet and do all the things. You're right, but I can't trim your feet till Tuesday. Uh, I can pick them. And if that's the case, no, you don't want me to pick them. I don't know, buddy. I just want you to get some good rest tonight. I sprayed him down. Hoping that would cool him off and figure out why he's kind of sweaty. We had a really bad fly day. And I don't know if everybody's just agitated from that too. I sprayed everybody three different times today. And it just, it was unbelievable. Flies were just like covering everything. Covering fence posts, covering gates, covering me. It just, <sighs> it kind of never ends, y'all. So, um, I don't know what you do on Friday nights, but I just apparently find things to stress about and um if I look hard enough there will always be something he's like no don't stress just let me get some rest mom and maybe you could let me out <laughs> I'm not gonna let you out to just gorge yourself tonight Bubba I know go get some sleep see you can see it in his eyes I know you see the red from my flashlight but 
He just looks worn out. You're so handsome, buddy. And we love you. You're handsome too, Bucky's, And you're beautiful, Rita. And Storm. She's tired. She's tired and she's ready for them to go to bed. Are you sleeping already, standing up? Yes. Okay. Hey, Mama loves you. Okay? You don't have to chase that kitty cat out. That's just a kitty cat. I love you so much. I love you guys. Look at look how pathetic. He's like, Mom, just, just let me out. It'll help me so much. Tomorrow morning, okay? The morning is not that far. You get some good sleep first. 